Hello players, Game Masters, and everyone in between, and welcome back to the Game Masters domain. Today we'll be going over the Paladin's Sacred Oath, the Oath of the Shield, for D&D 5th Edition. Links to the Homebrewery page where you can download the PDF will be in the description below. So, this subclass was inspired by a couple of things, those being Nafumi from Shield Hero and Maple from Bofuri. But there are plenty more characters that can fit into this role, such as Mash from Fate and Captain America to some extent. Now, since I'm not fully making out those characters, and more focusing on the archetype of the Shieldbearer, there are plenty of abilities that they have that will not be represented in this subclass. So, with a name like the Oath of the Shield, this subclass focuses on how not only to be the best at using a shield, but how to be the best shield you can, blocking damage for your party before they take it and reducing their need for a healer. But, with that being said, let's take a look at what this subclass has to offer. Oath of the Shield Paladins are sworn to protect the weak and defend those who cannot defend themselves. These paladins know there will always be a place for them on the front lines of the battle with evil. They act as the first line of defense on the battlefield to bring in their shields to bear against their enemies. Like all paladins, you do have tenets, rules that you must follow as part of your oath. Now, from what I know, there has been some talk about this, with paladins being the only class to have a restriction on how you roleplay them, so I have seen some DMs disregarding them. But I have added the tenets in regardless, just for the sake of consistency. Next we have the oath spells that you gain at set levels. These spells are always memorized and do not count against the number of spells you can have memorized each day. So, starting at 3rd level, you gain the Shield of Faith spell and the Shield spell, granting some additional AC to your allies or yourself. And at 5th level, you gain access to the 2nd level spell's Warning Bond, allowing you to pick one ally and protect them a little bit more, as well as Spiritual Weapon for when you need a bit of ranged damage. And at 9th level, you gain the Aura of Vitality and Beacon of Hope spells for when you need to swap over to healing. Once you reach 13th level, you gain the Guardian of Faith spell and the Aura of Purity for some wider range area protection. And lastly, for the Oath spells, you gain a Circle of Power and Summon Celestial Spirit, allowing you some stronger area defense as well as a powerful summon to help cover your back. At 3rd level, after sorting out your spells, we have the Channel Divinities, of which you get two and we'll start off with Shield Wall, which as a bonus action allows you to gain temporary HP equal to twice your Paladin level plus your Charisma modifier. The second channel divinity option is Barrier, which as an action, you choose a number of targets equal to your Charisma modifier within 30 feet. Those targets gain AC equal to half of your spellcasting modifier for one minute, and heal 2d4 plus their own constitution modifier. Now normally the only things paladins get at third level are their channel divinities, however for this subclass I did add the following features. First is Bulwark of Hope, allowing you to use your Divine Smite feature defensively whenever you take damage. The second is Shield Bash, allowing you to attack with your shield for 1d6 plus your strength modifier and damage. Now, given that these are not normally something paladins get, feel free to treat them as optional, as this class is perfectly functional without them. Now, let's get back to the normal abilities paladins under the Oath of the Shield gain, starting off with Aura of Love at level 7. The aura has a 15-foot radius, and as a reaction, whenever a creature takes damage inside that radius, you can choose to take half the damage for that creature. This does not transfer any saving throws or additional effects from that source of damage. At 18th level, the radius increases to 30 feet, and you can choose to gain resistance to the damage taken this way a number of times equal to your Charisma modifier. Next, at 15th level, Shield Paladins gain the Counter ability. As a reaction to taking damage, you can forgo all defenses, negate resistances, and take full damage regardless of your AC or saving throws. On the next successful attack, you deal extra damage equal to half the damage you took from that attack. As part of the same reaction, you make a melee weapon attack against a creature in range if there is one. And lastly, for Shield Paladins all the way at 20th level, is Shield of the Heavens. Using your action, you undergo a transformation, and for one hour you gain the following benefits. You have resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Your allies have advantage on death saving throws while within 30 feet of you. And your allies within 15 feet are under the effect of the Sanctuary spell. And with that, we finished up all the subclass abilities, as well as a few extra ones, if you're going for the more shield-only type of character. But as I said, this subclass is perfectly functional without them as long as you do pick up another weapon. Now, this sort of character has always been close to my heart, and when 5th edition came around, I was a bit sad seeing that to use a shield to hit anyone reliably required special proficiencies with improvised weapons, and the shield master feat to get even more use out of it. My goal here was to make a subclass that would not only tank damage themselves, but also be a shield for the entire party, mitigating damage and helping the more squishy characters stay on their feet a little longer before needing to be healed. But, that will do it for this video. I thank you all for sticking around until the end. And if you enjoy this sort of content, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I'm always happy to hear suggestions on what you'd like for me to make next. Thank you though, and that will do it all for today's session. I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a wonderful day!